Hey Journey Moore, today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie a square lashing. So stick around. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. The square lashing is one of the easiest and probably the most versatile of all the different types of lashings. What I'm doing here is I'm actually going to do a square lashing around this old fence post around this tree. What this is going to give me, it's going to give me a beam that goes between both trees. So I can use this for a lot of different things. But the first thing that you got to start out with, with a square lashing, and this actually goes for most lashings, so make sure you learn this piece, is you have to tie what's called a clove hitch. So a clove hitch, take your rope here. All you're doing is you're staying on either the outside or the inside, doesn't matter where you start and you're gonna wrap the rope around once. Just like this. And I'm actually gonna cross, see that X there? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come underneath the X. So I wanna come on the, the top part of the X here and come down to the bottom part. And then I just pull both ends. And this is gonna cinch it up real tight just like that. So from here, this is when I'm actually gonna start the wraps around the tree and the post. Come out from where I finished my clove hitch, and I'm gonna go around the tree. And as you can see, it's holding up here. Grab the rest of my rope. And I'm still gonna come over top of my post here. And I'm gonna come down in front of the post. And then I'm going to alternate and go back again here. Just like this. So I've come around the bottom of the tree here, or the bottom of the post around the tree. I'm going to come back up in front. Now I'm going to do this until I have at least three wraps on my post. Probably not going to do any more than six on whatever I'm using this lash for. So anywhere from between three and six wraps. And make sure when you are doing this, you're pulling very tight, keeping this as tight to the other piece of wood or tree or whatever it is you're lashing to, to make sure that this lash lashing stays tight. Now once I've got my three to six wraps, I'm going to do what's called frapping. So I'm going to come back in front here, but instead of going around the tree again, I'm actually going to bring this up and I'm going to bring it around my wraps. So what this is going to do is this is going to cinch up all angles of the wraps to make sure that this in fact stays here no matter how much weight you've got put on it. Now once I've got three fraps here, I'm then going to end the lashing on the opposite side of where I started, and I'm going to do the same knot, the clove hitch. So I'm going to come around here, cross my ropes right here, come up around here. I've got some extra rope here, so I just kind of have to deal with it. I'm going to take the end, and again, I'm going to put it underneath my X. So it's got to go underneath both sides. I'm just going to pull this through. It's okay that it's loose right now because we're about to tighten it up. This is what it should look like. You've got your wraps here, your fraps, and then your clove hitches on both sides. And as you can see, going to hold up and hold all of my weight not very big but that's a good lashing that's going to stay it's going to hold you can use this to actually build shelter a lot of people just put a rope through the middle of two trees and that's okay that'll work if you tie the right knots you actually jump over and watch one of our knot videos and that'll show you the taut line 
which is the rope that you, the knot that you would use in order to do that. But with this, it's gonna give you that solid beam all night, doesn't matter if it rains or if there's snow or anything like that. This is gonna keep that tarp up, so that way it doesn't fall and the rope doesn't droop in the middle of the night. Now the other things that you can do is you can build structures called trestles. You can actually build towers and bridges, all kinds of things that are really neat with these types of lashings. And there's some other types too, which you can jump on over and check those out as well. We actually made multiple videos and released them at the same time. That way we could put all of the different types of lashings out. We just wanted to do them separate just to keep it short and simple for you guys. That you're not sitting here watching a 15, 20 minute video of all these different lashings. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'd love for you to be a part of the Journey More community. Come journey more with us and we'll see you next time.